welcome back to another unboxing video with yours truly, Mel Mel. So, <laughs> another late box incoming. Please bear with me. It was completely outside of my control and honestly outside of their control too because shipping just held it up. But today's video is going to be going over one of my quarterly subscriptions. So it only comes around four times a year for each of the seasons and it is none other than this chonky as you can see plushing box it is the springtime edition even though we are well into summer I had every confidence that the box is gonna arrive I know there was a lot of people who was like what's going on where's our box I was like It'll get here when it gets here, and it got here. But look at this design. It's this huge box, and it has like a bunch of like leaves all over. You know, the little tail, and as always, the little tobings on the bottom. These boxes are so cutely designed. I adore them. So yeah, let's see what's inside of the springtime, very late springtime edition of the pushing box. Normally there's like a little like brochure card that comes in the box and I know it was in the box but I can't seem to find it so we're gonna continue on but the theme was like a gardening theme since springtime is the prime time months for doing that but you can have plants all year round so for you plant parents out there who also adore cats, which is a hard mix, <laughs> coming from personal experience, this box is perfect for you. So let's get into the very first item. First, we have a like t-shirt, which is so cute. It's this real, I mean, it's really big, but I honestly don't mind because they are perfect for lounging around, but it's plushing and their little sloth friend saying maybe later, which is such a, a vibe. And it's this like pretty like light green with like this sage. It kind of looks like a brown, but it's more like sage color uh, trim. It is an extra large as you input your own sizes. Um, when you go to subscribe and even though extra large is really big Better safe than sorry. Like I said, I don't mind an oversized t-shirt. It looks really really cute And I cannot wait to wear this. It's so adorable. Not one but two wearable accessories inside of this plushine when you're outside especially here in Arizona it's quite sunny so here we are with this bucket hat and it has that same plushing with the sloth but this time it says slow down so you put it on your head like so I think the design yeah and then you have this little thing to uh, tighten it as you desire it's a little ruffled from the box but you still get the point and it's supposed to keep the Sun out of your face when you're outside doing your gardening work or yard work unfortunately for me <laughs> I live in an apartment complex there ain't no outside work to be done unless you just want to wear it just because but it definitely gives more of like the gardening look and not just like a, a fashionable uh, statement. <laughs> uh, however, at my parents' house, there's much outside work to be done as they live on a small little farm, just very small. And this year they've taken up gardening again. I was like, oh, like what the heck? What are the odds of that? That I get a gardening themed box and they take up a garden. This is super cute though. I'll need to um, get it all uncrumbled, but so 
so, so cute. The wearable items just keep on coming. This one is very much gardening specific. It is a little like apron. Here is the design on the front. We have some plants and I know, I'm, I'm sure I know one of those is a Monstera because they're pretty noticeable. And you have the sloth and the little parakeet friend. But yes, you tie this around your waist. I know that isn't my waist, but it's kind of hard to see. And you can put all your gardening tools. We have these two straps to like hang things as well as this opens up. And it's a pocket. You could be like a little kangaroo with your little pouch. And it's so cute. Again, doesn't serve me much use unless I'm doing something artist related and I'm like painting on a canvas like while I was standing up or something. Or you know what, maybe you can use it for like cleaning because you know like carrying around things and sometimes you don't have pockets and whatnot and you could just hang like your spray bottles, brushes all up in here while you're cleaning. That's another idea. But until I get a house, this will sadly have to be limited use for me, but I still like the concept and it's really great, honestly. The design is so cute too. Okay, <laughs> there's one last wearable design, promise. I keep like, because I didn't have the, uh, the little brochure card, I keep forgetting like what's in the box as I'm like taking items out. But what is gardening without some gardening gloves? Once again, that similar design of plushing with the sloth, with those leaves everywhere. Of course, when you're handling like soil or um, plants that have like barbs on them, or if you're doing some weeding in your uh, garden, these are perfect. However, this item has a little bit of critique to it as far as like getting like the rough parts of gardening which is usually required or when you would want to wear gardening gloves these are not heavy duty <laughs> uh, they're a much on the thinner side and even though the design is really really cute and they're definitely gonna be useful even for me because like when I'm um, repotting some plants that I have or just dealing with soil with them in the first place. I definitely use these because I hate getting soil in between my fingernails. It like, I feel like it doesn't come out very easily, but these will definitely help out. But yeah, they're a little bit on the thinner side and I feel like a lot of like hardcore gardeners would heavily critique these as being gardening gloves. But I mean, Unless you want to be out there again with the fashion statement. I guess you could wear these as regular gloves, but they lack the practical design for regular gloves as well as scarf. They're like that in between, which makes them kind of awkward, but they're so cute. <laughs> I think I will still use them though, especially when dealing with soil. That is probably going to be their primary, primary words primary uh, use and that is a pookie right here wanting attention hi miss pookie she sees my lit candle over there do you not like that <laughs> she's looking for birds outside as it's kind of already getting dark thus the lighting she's all like sorts of worked up as you can hear. <laughs> Moving on to the next thing. To match the gloves, we had gotten this really, really adorable um, gardening trowel. There we go. I knew it had a fanci fancier uh, name than like gardening pick or gardening shovel. And it's that same design that was on the gloves, but this time instead of like the green background, it has the white background 
super cute and it's actually pretty heavy duty honestly you can definitely definitely use this one for sure as you can tell it is metal that design so cute and yes this one is definitely more useful probably not so much for me I feel like this would do better in like outside gardening and not like so much inside but I'll make it work at the very least these items will be perfect for when you know do get a house because I do plan on doing some gardening myself because I think it's such a fun thing to do I know it's not for everyone and honestly I don't have the greenest thumb but I like to try it so so cute cannot wait to make use of this here we are with the next item inside of the box this one I will definitely make use of it's a little watering pail with plushing holding a plant that kind of looks like an aloe vera probably isn't but that is my guess on it it's so cute the little spout right there one critique though um not the biggest pail so you'll definitely have to make a few rounds depending on how many plants you have to make sure that they all get watered but this certainly beats using like a glass that I was currently I used to have a pail but then it got I don't know if it got lost or it got damaged but I had to like I don't have it anymore essentially so here we are with my brand new one it's so cute so excited to now water my plants even though I just recently watered them so they are good for a little bit but I'm gonna keep this right next to them so that way next time when it's watering time I have plushing to help me out so so cute this item that was inside of the box there's quite a few items which I really love about these boxes we have this little gardening hanging sign as you can see it has ooh, the glare <laughs> it has like a little rope so you can hang it up over your like gardening fence if it's outside or your greenhouse or you can hang it up in your room where you keep all your plants which is gonna be such a cute idea and even if even if you don't want to use it specifically for your plants you can hang it up for just regular decoration should you wish I am wondering, and I am gonna test it out, I'm wondering if you could write like whiteboard marker on here and if it's erasable. We'll be definitely trying that out as I haven't gotten a chance to. It's still in its package, but it's super cute. We have plants right here and pushing right here, which is the same design that was on the watering pail. This one's probably more of like the random item that was in here, but it's still cute and still kind of goes with the whole plant theme. The second to last item is probably one of the bigger items and you can probably tell why. And also one of the reasons why that box is a little bit on the heftier side, we have a ceramic mini planter. It's the exact same design that was on the trowel we have right there. I'm going to take it out of the box so we can look at it a lot more closely and you can see how cute it is. Just the little like styrofoam bits that was on this planter. It was very well secured inside of that box with styrofoam all around it to make sure it doesn't get broken. and. <laughs> I really hope for everyone else getting this box, yours arrives just as well as mine. But here we go. It's pretty like decent size as you can tell. It would be perfect for a small plant or a few succulents if you so desire. It even has a drainage hole on the bottom which is very ideal for your plants you want to make sure that water goes all the way through and doesn't flood the plant because you don't want to attract no bugs or some moles or anything like that and keep your plant feeling rather happy i cannot wait i have to figure out what plant i'm gonna put in here or just buy a new one completely so excited it's so cute i'll definitely 
definitely, once I plant something in here, be showing it off on my socials. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Hopefully here soon. <laughs> and yeah, it's so cute. Really, really like this item. And I feel like garden or not, you could definitely make use of it unless you just simply don't like plants or don't like being a plant person. And the very last item inside of the box was the vinyl figure. In every single one of the plushing boxes, we are guaranteed a collectible vinyl figure. I absolutely adore these figures, especially as a collector myself. It's really nice item to get. And that is the design on the figure itself. Let's open up this box to closely examine this little cutie. Here we go. <laughs> this figure is freaking massive. <laughs> oh my god. But isn't it so cute? I love it. It'll be so cute to put next to my potted plants. We have Flushing taking care of their garden. We have a little carrot, head of lettuce, and... Hmm. Some sort of berry I imagine but they also kind of look like radishes to me even though I know radishes are in the ground and they're not above ground so it can't be radishes but they look like it to me matching pail even though it would have been a lot cuter if they like put the little print of the plushie on the pail to match but look how freaking huge this thing is I mean we got in a bigger one in the past which was the ice cream machine one if you remember that one from the previous last summer box but this one's just so cute. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. So yeah. That was everything inside of the spring edition plushing box. What are we thinking? It is very theme specific. I mean they all have a theme. But it's very much like gardening. Effort. like again it can easily be one of those boxes that like it's a straight up miss for some people because if you don't do any sort of gardening or don't have any plants almost every single one of those items is kind of useless <laughs> but they would make great gift ideas for those that you know that are into that sort of stuff just thought but yeah Thank you guys for watching and bearing with me once again for these late videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time on the next one. Bye for now.